Politicians have turned our government into a giant shop back with an extension wand hung over every last class and race of Americans, sucking up every last dollar and cent they can. And then they empty the canister into the bank accounts of themselves and their friends by allocating spending. And every year they turn up the power on their machine more and more. Well, it's time for ShopVac to meet Louisville Slugger. If elected to Congress, these are the five things I will support to destroy their machine. Number one, no continuing resolutions or omnibus bills. These are the vehicles our politicians use to keep their money machine running. If you don't know what a continuing resolution or an omnibus bill are, then watch my 60 second short, What is an Omnibus Bill? I'll link it below. Politicians deliberately don't meet deadlines to pass smaller, more narrowly tailored spending bills because they're just figureheads who are bought and paid for to keep the money machine running for the real recipients of our tax dollars. I will not vote for continuing resolutions or omnibus bills. Number two, single subject spending bills. Single subject spending bills are the opposite of a continuing resolution or an omnibus bill. It is the job of our members in Congress to analyze where our tax dollars are going on an agency by agency and program by program basis and to pass narrowly tailored spending bills that fund agencies and programs that work. But they don't do that. Why? Because then their money machine breaks. Number three, zero-based budgeting for all agencies and programs. Right now, politicians operate by asking, how much of an increase should we give this agency or program over last year? Instead, we should be asking, is this agency or program necessary this coming year? Is it doing what it's supposed to do? Does it need more money or less money? Our financial system is closer to collapse now than at any point in our history. We no longer have the luxury of making budgets based on what last year's allocations were. Government is the worst, most inefficient allocator of capital that exists, and money should be left in the private sector wherever possible. It is the people that created the prosperity in our country, not the government. We should start with a budget of zero dollars for every agency and program and only continue to fund those that move our country forward. That is zero-based budgeting. Number four, regular audits of all agencies and programs. Every agency and program that gets our tax dollars should undergo regular audits. The more money involved, the more in-depth, and the more frequent the audits. The IRS has no problem following where all of our money goes and making sure that every line of our tax returns is correct. And if they so much as think that we miscategorize a stamp or a sandwich, we get audited. We need to return the favor to the agencies that the IRS is collecting our tax money for. Number five, close non-strategic military bases and bring our veterans home. Right now, we have over 750 bases in over 70 countries. I will work to set up a commission to decide which 50 bases have the least strategic military value and begin drawing down those operations and bringing those veterans home. We will return husbands to their wives, wives to their husbands, and parents to their children. And then we will continue to draw down overseas operations until all of our bases serve a vital strategic national interest and the ones that don't will be closed. Right now, we just have people saying, let's build another base over there, and let's build another one over here. We have no one saying, we built that 50 years ago, and it no longer serves any strategic interest. Let's close it down and bring those veterans home. The world resents the United States for having over 750 bases spread throughout the world. This kind of military presence is not easing tensions with our adversaries, it is increasing it. Weapons technology is becoming deadlier every year. In a world with drone strikes and missile attacks and AI-backed weaponry, we can no longer afford to go around threatening the world to go to war with them if they don't do what we want them to do. We need to begin reducing conflict and normalizing relations. Our military will be stronger if our power and response are more centralized and strategic. It will also allow us to reallocate the money we need to begin developing next generation offensive and defensive technologies that we may need someday to defend our country. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm the alternative. And these are the five things I will do if elected to Congress to take their little money machine offline.